Hey, welcome, it's Cassie. I'm gonna show you today how to make some fake chocolate-covered pretzels that you can use for your St. Patrick's Day fake food display, fake bakes, um, whatever you wanna use them for. So, the first thing we're gonna need is some clay. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna use, Crazy Art Modelite, just because this is what I have. You can use any air dry clay, polymer clay, anything you want to use. So I'm going to show you how to make the pretzels and then I have some that I already made and dried so that we could decorate them here. So I'm just going to get a small amount so I can show you how to do this. So just work the clay around in your hands for a little bit um, to get it nice and pliable. And then we're going to roll it into a little log. Okay, so I usually roll things into a log so that I can cut them in like equal sections so that all of my things are pretty similar in size. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off of here and then um, I would cut this into two more sections so that they're all pretty pretty close to the same size. And then I'm just going to take one piece and I'm going to roll it out until it's nice and skinny. Now normally I work with this white clay on a piece of wax paper or something so I don't get specks in it, but we're going to completely cover these pretzels so we don't need to worry about the specks in there. So to make the pretzels, this is about the, oops, this is about the thickness that you want it to be and try to make sure it's pretty even. It, you know, you will get kind of your finger marks from rolling it, but try to, you know, even those out as much as possible. And then you're just going to take the ends and you're going to put one like that and one like that. And there you have a little pretzel. And then I would put this on like some parchment paper or wax paper or something to dry for overnight. Um, if you're using air dry clay, if you're using polymer clay, you can bake it and it'll be ready to decorate right away. So I have my little pretzels that I made yesterday and let them dry overnight. I have one that's a little bit oversized compared to the other ones. I think I did a pretty good job of getting these all the same size except for that one, but that's okay. Okay, so... I made this little thing so that I can dry these and um, I'm hoping it's going to work. So I took, I have these little styrofoam rounds to, that came from Dollar Tree and I just stuck some toothpicks into the styrofoam so that I can, once these are uh, wet with the paint, I can just hang them right on here so that they can dry evenly on both sides rather than putting them on like a piece of wax paper or something where the paint's going to pull to the back and the back side will look ugly. I just, I don't know. I, the back side's probably not going to be visible, but I still want it to look nice. So I have that and I'm going to put some wax paper underneath it to catch any drips. Okay, so I'm going to start with the chocolate, um, the dark chocolate. So I'm going to put some caulk into, a, this is just a styrofoam bowl. You can use whatever you want, but I wanted to use this bowl so that I can just dip the pretzel right into this and then pull it out. I don't have to... Um, 
try to drizzle it on or anything like that. This should be a lot easier. Oh, and this is caulk that I got at Dollar Tree. So I have a little bit of caulk in here. I'm going to um, add some of this burnt umber from Apple Barrel into the caulk to give it a nice dark chocolate look. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Mod Podge. Not too much though, or else it'll get really drippy. So I'm gonna keep it at a very small amount. And I'm just gonna mix this up. Okay, so I have this all mixed up and you can see it doesn't look like a chocolate color, but when it dries, it's gonna look, it's gonna look completely different from this. So I'm just gonna take my pretzel and dip it right into there, kind of like you would with a regular chocolate covered pretzel and flip it over. I'm using a plastic fork for the to flip it over and so I can get it out of here once it's covered. So just make sure that everything um, where the the pieces cross and along the edge all of that gets covered. So just kind of smush it around there until everything's good. For this one, I'm gonna put some sprinkles on it. So I have some sprinkles here that I made and I'm planning to make a video showing you how to make your own sprinkles and giving you some suggestions for um, other things that you can use as sprinkles. So keep watch for that. It should be coming out, um, I think next week. Okay, so I want to make sure when I take this out, I have the back side on my fork because I'm not going to decorate the back side. Um, so I want to be able to hold it on the fork and decorate it like that. So I'm just going to sprinkle my sprinkles on. Okay, and then I'm try to move this over here so I can show you what I'm going to do with this. So I'm just going to put the pretzel right onto the toothpick. And then it just can hang there and dry and then if anything needs to be touched up it'll just be one little spot where the toothpick is but I'm not even sure that that's going to show so it should make it like a really nice finish. Okay so um, I think we'll do one more in this color so go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so I think I got this one covered pretty well, so I'm gonna pull it out. And then I'm gonna do some green and white drizzle across this one. So I'm gonna start with my green and I'm just gonna go back and forth across the pretzel. And it's good if you start not right over the pretzel, then that way you can kind of get going with your motion and not have a big blob. If you start 
right over it, you're probably going to get a big blob of paint right there. Oh my gosh, these look like the real deal. Now, one thing I want to mention when you're um, mixing up your caulk mixture, do not put too much Mod Podge or it's going to be really drippy and your pretzels are going to be a total disaster. Okay, so the next one, um, I want to do some white chocolate ones. So we're going to mix this up just exactly the same as we did with the other one. And if you have any of this left over, just put it in a, an empty paint container and um, you can save it and use it later. I forgot to show you what I drizzled with. I used this Scribbles. This one's called Shiny Bright Green and this one is Shiny White. It's 3D fabric paint. Um, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at the craft stores. It's it's available a lot of places. And there are other brands besides that brand. You can use any brand. And just a little smidge of Mod Podge. The Mod Podge makes it um, a little more liquidy. And it also gives it a little bit of shine if you use a gloss one. So it kind of gives it that like luster that chocolate has. I'm forgetting all the things. So I, sh I used antique white from Apple Barrel to make this color um, because you know, white chocolate's not that like stark white color so I wanted something with a little bit of a, like a creamy color to it a little like little yellowy um, and this I think is the perfect color so we have the mixture I'm gonna um, dunk my pretzel Just make sure it's all coated, just like we did with the other one. Fork and just pull it out of there, right side up. And then I'm going to sprinkle this one too, because I think these sprinkles are going to be super cute on this. Color. And I don't like how these sprinkles are filling in the pretzel hole, so I'm going to scooch those. Okay, so there's that one. Super cute. And if you get any of the um, caulk mixture on the sprinkles. Once it's dry, you can just scratch it right off of the sprinkles. It comes right off. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna do this one. And white also. So this white chocolate mixture turned out a lot thicker, so you might want to add a little extra Mod Podge to this one. Just make sure it's not too drippy or else you're going to have a mess. So for this one, I'm going to do um, some little shamrocks and some gold glitter. I think that'll be fun. Oops. Don't put your sprinkles on over your bowl or else they're going to ruin your caulk mixture. And you won't be able to use it again unless you want to pick all the sprinkles out. Okay, let's see. 
trying to get these sprinkles in one spot and they're going everywhere else, of course. And now I'm just gonna put some glitter on. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite one. Of course, everything with glitter, I love. <laughs> okay, and then the next one I'm gonna do is a uh, milk chocolate. Okay, so normally I use a color called melted chocolate for my milk chocolate color, but they didn't have that, so I'm gonna use brown oxide, which is about the same, except for it has a little more red in it. So hopefully this one will look nice. And then a little Mod Podge. And you can see this is quite a bit different from the burnt umber color. So I don't know, this looks a little too red for milk chocolate to me, but I'll go with it. If it doesn't look good, then it doesn't look good. But if you can get the melted chocolate color, that's like perfect for milk chocolate. Okie dokie, here we go. So time to dip. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to do some uh, some of these like rainbow confettis and then I'm going to do the shamrocks and I might do a little sprinkle of gold glitter. And I mean, use your imagination and decorate these however you like because the sky is the limit when you're crafting. Okay, and I'm just gonna give it a little sprinkle. And then we'll just do one more in this milk chocolate. So for this one, I'm gonna drizzle it and put some sprinkles on, I think. So I'm gonna drizzle it just like we did the other one, um, starting not right over my pretzel. And then I'm gonna put a few of these little shamrocks on. Okay, so there's that one, which I think is gonna be super cute. I can't wait to see how this color dries. So here are all of the different ones that we made. Which one's your favorite one? Let me know in the comments. I think my favorite one is this white chocolate with the glitter, but until these ones dry, it's hard to tell what they're going to look like. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I had a wonderful time. I appreciate you and I will see you next time.